Listen, I've got this whole high school thing psyched out. It all breaks down into clicks. Clicks? Yeah, you know, clicks. Little in groups of different kids. All we have to do is click with the right click and we can finally have a social life that's worthy of us. No way. Not even with cleavage. I told you. This year we're going to be popular. Yeah? Yeah. Even if it kills us. Square pig, square pig, square, square pig. Always oh, never quite right. Square pig, square pig, square, square pig. I'd like it if they'd like us, but I don't think they'd like us. Square pig, square pig, square, square pig. Don't want to wear my glasses, I have to wear my glasses. Square pig, square pig, square, square pig. Square pig, square pig, square Patty, wait up. Patricia, where are you going? The auditions are this way. I know. You can't turn your back on your musical talent. Your voice happens to be a real gift. A gift? Some gift. I'd rather have my own phone. So don't audition. It's OK with me. Maybe you want to spend the rest of your life singing Be a Pepper into the bathroom mirror. Hey, come on, I'm a great pepper. That doesn't make you popular. Nothing assures popularity like stardom. Look at Ronald Reagan. Wait a minute. Do you mean that if I star in the Wee Mooey Auto musical, in 75 years, I could be president? All right, people. No pushing. Now, line up. I am only one person. Stage hands, green cards. Ticket sellers, blue cards. Acting hopefuls, pink cards. Oh, people, legible, see play. <laughs> Hi, string bean, fang. Muffy, when you're older, people still going to call you Muffy, as in Grandma Muffy and Grandpa Skip. Wow, I never thought of that. Grandpa Johnny, Gramp Slash. Pop, pop, Johnny. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that. Now, Jennifer, pink card, actress, Patty, blue card, ticket selling committee. Muffy Patty wants a pink card. She's going to audition. I think she should. If she can deal with rejection, that is. Sorry if the truth hurts. Muffy, I've been meaning to ask you, is that your real nose? <laughs> I wasn't too rude to Muffy, was I? It's impossible to be too rude to Muffy. That's the spirit, kiddo. On your way to stardom, you have to be rude, selfish, inconsiderate. No, there is no excuse for bad manners. <laughs> All right, people. Now I am in charge. Now I know this is very exciting, and we're all at Twitter, but let us contain ourselves. Good news. Mr. Spacek, our fantastically talented director, has generously promised to donate half the ticket money to our adopted Guatemalan child. After all, our child has taken Wimui as her communion name, and sending her that other shoe is the least we can do in return. And now, people, I would like to introduce to you our director, Mr. John Michael Spacek. <laughs> Hello, thespians. Hey, who you calling a thespian? <laughs> Theater is hard, thankless work. How many of you have seen all that jazz? Good. Then you know what I mean. To you, this may just be another school event, but to me, this is the great white Wima Wee Way. OK, don't you but think you Mr. Spacek is kind of like, you know, you know. Theater. What are you talking about, girl? The man's got six kids. Okay, but like, he's still kind of like, you know. High school is painful on both sides of the desk. I was here and I know. But now, I have captured this torment in a bold new musical, a cafeteria line. I'm going to do to high school what a chorus line did to Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> like all great stories, it is a love story. It comes from here and here. And here. Stop right where you are. <laughs> Light the lights. Let the auditions begin. 
Presenting Marshall Blackman. Last night I had a little teensy weensy itsy bitsy piece of spinach caught right there between my teeth. It's disgusting, Jane. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. No, 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 no. I am not seeing what I want to see. I want to see pain here. Real pain. Now, give me pain. Pain. I'll tell you, pain. There's no one good to imitate anymore. No Cagney, no Bogart, no Judy, Judy, Judy. I mean, have you ever tried to imitate Warren Beatty? How about Meryl Streep? <laughs> Next. I'm here. I am prepared, Mr. Spacek. I have written an original poem. It is called, There Ain't a Black Girl Alive Who Can Look at a Broom and Think About Halloween. I will begin. <clears throat> My mama. My mama. My mama rode the bus. Ooh, talk to me, sister. <laughs> Get down with your bad self. Next. Like, all I want to say is that if I'm not like, you know, the star, I'd rather just go to the mall, okay? I want you to share a trauma with me. Trauma? You know, bad thing? Well, like, when I was in seventh grade, like, I was the only girl who had a date for the sock hop. That was traumatic? Well, it was for all the other girls, you know. No, no, no. Surely something bad happened to you once. Okay, fine. But, like, I really don't like to talk about it, okay? Try. Once I, like, left my makeup, you know? The car at the beach, okay? Like, it was real hot. Like, it melted and everything. I mean, like, I cried. Next. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to sing a song that really comes from right here. I mean, this song is so important. They sing it before every Yankees game. The national anthem. Interesting choice. <laughs> Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. If I can make it there, I'll make it. It's up to you, New York, New York. I am dying. Do you know what I am thinking right this minute? You are the only logical choice to play the drama teacher. The lead. Next. This is me dying again. Open heart surgery time. Chekhov in she knows. You have captured all the alienation and angst of high school. Is that good? It's beyond good. Name the role and it's yours. I don't want to be in it. No way. I want to work backstage. It's darker. <laughs> it's a totally different head. Totally. <laughs> all right. Rain on my parade. <laughs> Next. Now, P-A-I-N. Let me see you wring it out of your little body. This is me waiting. These are my glasses. I've worn them since I was two years old and it it's funny because people always feel sorry for little kids who wear glasses. But as you get older, people get meaner. But you know, when I was a little kid, I always thought that I'd have this horrible accident. And when they took off the bandages, I'd be able to see perfectly. But now I see that my eyes will probably just get worse. my glasses. You are hearing the sound of two hands clapping. Now, if you have only half the honesty in your singing voice, let me hear it.
There's Muffy. She's got the castles. A musical, but not a monster movie. Be serious. Patty Green is like the star, and I'm like head of the makeup committee. I mean, isn't it like time for a reality check? Well, don't fight it, babe. You're a born beautician, and uh, I'm a born leading man. Hey, leading lady. Where well, you been hiding a big voice of yours, huh? Really? She was born with talent. It's in her genes. Like, no, it's not there either. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You just won't thank Jennifer in her Oscar acceptance speech. Oh, no, look at it. It says here that the, the drama teacher is smitten by a gawky teenager with Coke bottle lenses. I have to wear my glasses on stage. Relax. It's your first part. There'll be others. Yeah, well, tell that to Yul Brenner. <laughs> Patty, <laughs> think about it this way. You'll be rehearsing with Vinny every night. It'll be almost like having a social life. Great. Some people have stage mothers. I've got a stage best friend. What is he doing? <laughs> Shh. He's rehearsing to be a stage hand. You know, you made me lose my concentration. I'll have to start from the beginning. <laughs> Okay, everybody, in this scene, our hero, the drama teacher, dances around the cafeteria. It's a metaphor. Wild, isn't it? Okay, places, everybody. Five, six, seven, eight. How do you make chicken fried steak? How do you eat mystery meat? Cream corn, ketchup as a vegetable. Cream corn, ketchup as a vegetable. your tuna melt. I'd love to sit and watch while you are stuffing your pretty little face with a pizza muffin. Jello squares and lumpy tapioca pudding. Jello squares and lumpy tapioca talking cream corn. Catch a vegetable, catch a vegetable. Okay, enough of this madness. Vincente, go get Patricia. It's kissy time. Okay, now bring down these lights and let's lose the vegetables. You know, if you're going to play my student, maybe I should uh, give you some private lessons. Like, hi. Later, babe. We've got to rehearse. Like, excuse, like me, OK? Here we go. Now, this is the golden moment. The awkward student confesses her love, the love that dare not speak its name, teacher and student. The ultimate taboo. The same thing happened to me once, only slightly different. Well, can't we ask the scenery painters and everyone to leave while we do this? This may come as a hideous shock to your little system, but we are going through this experiment in terror in anticipation of an audience. You know, people in chairs. <laughs> this has to be a really big kiss. This is the kiss that says hello and goodbye. No problem. <laughs> Bless you for understanding. Patty, darling, this is the kiss against which you will measure every other kiss in your life. Okay, have fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just remembered a joke. Romantic. Did you invite him in? Invite him in? Thorne, my mother may be liberal, but it still takes more than horn honking and wheelies in the driveway to warrant a dinner invitation. This is a dream come true. He's our passport to popularity. No, come on, I'm not gonna use him. Don't be silly. He's Jennifer's boyfriend. He's used to being used. Mr. Spacek, Mr. Spacek, I got a great way to show you teenage pain, okay? Now, see if you think this works. I am not an animal! 
I am a Weebo Weed freshman. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. What are you two doing after school? Uh, we're going to check out the sports arena. Uh, you know, the one with the dome that collapsed? You want to come? No, we're going to go get a makeover for Patty. Don't do it. I mean, you're a little skinny and your hair's kind of weird, but it looks good on you. Thanks. I'm just going to learn how to wear makeup, that's all, to bring out the woman in me. When you bring her out, can she stay at my house? <laughs> Finny wants you. He doesn't want me. He's just having a muscle spasm. Yo, Patty. He wants me. <laughs> Patty, uh, after rehearsal, how'd you like to do something real special and uh, real meaningful? Not before marriage. <laughs> no, I just thought it'd be romantic if I was to show you my old paper route. Oh. Well, it's a tempting offer, but I'm supposed to go downtown hey, with Lauren after school. This is me talking. Vinny. Vinny. Oh. Well, I see your point. I don't know what came over me. 410, the parking lot, my van. Be there. He wants me to see his old paper route. When a man wants you to share his past, he is serious. When? Today after school. But I thought that we were... I know, and I'm sorry, but if I was going for a makeover to attract Vinny, I don't need it. I've already attracted him. But your eyebrows are a mess. Well, you're not mad at me, are you? I mean, me, Vinny, popularity, isn't this just what we wanted? I did, but now I don't. Forget it. Have a good time. OK, bye. Take it easy, Lauren. You go to the sports arena with us. It won't be the same without Patty. I love the way her skinny little body squeezes between the bucket seats of the Slashmobile. <laughs> This would have been Patty's burger. But then I wouldn't have had a burger. So your burger would have been my burger, and my burger would have been Patty's burger. Yeah, yeah. Patty's easy boy, easy boy. I swear, when I'm 30, this will be a martini. Don't look at me that way. I once had a doctor who warned me about dieting under stress. I feel like the Three Stooges after Curly died. I killed it. Give me, I'll rewind it for you. No. Ares, touch the music. <laughs> First the dome. Then Patty, now this. It's brutal. Totally. Like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't think that us talking like this is going to be a regular thing or anything, OK? Oh, don't worry, Jennifer. If anyone sees you, we'll just say we kidnapped you and make you sit with us. Yeah, OK. <laughs> okay, like this is the first time I haven't had a boyfriend for more than an hour since I was 10. I can't handle it. You still have a boyfriend. Vinny just wanted to show Patty his old paper route. Yeah, I think like I read a newspaper once, you know? So how come he never asked me? He was probably afraid you'd say no. Jennifer, find him. Ask, beg, plead if you must, but see that paper route if it's the last thing you do. Like, I don't get it. Your best friend has got the cutest guy in school and you want to break it up. Why? Because you and Vinny belong together, like Gable and Lombard. Shells and Yarnell. Uh, uh, spaghetti and peanut butter. <laughs> Jennifer DiNuccio, stand by your man. Now, see that house over there? I'd aim for the bird bath, especially if there were birds in it. Now, that one there, I hit that kid once with the Sunday paper. He had to get a couple of stitches, but it was okay. It was just a crybaby is all. Hey, babe, what are you doing here? I, like, couldn't stand it that I didn't, like, know about this part of your, like, life. Oh, yeah? Well, hey, don't let me stand in your way. We're only two, maybe three miles from my house. The walk will do me good. Yeah, OK. No, you, you can't do that. We'll drop you off, if you don't mind sitting in the back. Oh, I'd love to, but I think the shag carpeting in your van is giving me an allergic reaction. Bye. I used to get the Yorkie in the head nine or 10 times. Oh, really? Used to, yeah. Hi. 
You know, Marsha was right. I do have star quality. What? Don't you remember his list? To be a star, you have to be rude, selfish, and inconsiderate. That's me. Well, you're not the only one with star quality. I was rotten, too. I threw you at Vinny, and when he caught you, I wanted you back. You're right. You were worse than me. Much worse. I'm the one who sent Jennifer after him. You know, all she had to say was, like, hi, Vinny. And Vinny forgot all about me. I guess the bottom line is cup size trumps IQ. This time, friendship trumps popularity. You've taught me so much about school. Opening night. About life, this is the stuff love. that dreams are made of. Kid, when the curtain goes up on the second act. <laughs> Now I know I'll never star alone. Yeah, but you'll always get top billing. You know why? Because you earned it. You've got your whole life ahead of you, and I've got four more years till I get tenure. There'll be other men, other drama teachers. But always remember, theater is where you make it. This is Patty's burger, so that makes this my burger. So your burger doesn't have to be my burger. And Lord, yeah, we, know, we know, we love you. You're terrific. <laughs> I'm so happy we're back together. I could eat all your burgers. Oh, look at, look at, here it is. Oh, give me that. The most exciting stage duo this reviewer has ever seen, Patty Green and Vincent Pacetta. Patty, I can see it now. A cafeteria line, too. They don't even mention my name. I must have been terrible. Why didn't anyone tell me I was terrible? <laughs> <laughs> you were good. <laughs>